hello everyone we have already covered commodities commodity cash instrument and now we are going to cover commodity derivative instrument so there are spot cash instrument and derivative instrument the following section focuses on oil and gold derivatives each market has its own idiosyncratic features that determine pricing and we will not cover all of them but some of these general principle apply to all the derivatives commodity forwards commodity forward pricing differs from forward pricing in other markets forward pricing in foreign exchange bonds equities are governed by the arbitrage relationships however in the foreign exchange bond or equity markets if the forward price becomes too high and arbitra arbitrager can buy the spot with borrowed funds and sell forward at the elevated forward price in order to lock in a sure profit at maturity and if the forward price become too low the arbitrator borrows the underlying sells it short invests the proceeds and agrees to buy the underlying back at the depressed price in order to lock in a sure profit commodity forward arbitrage generally fails because of the lack of market for short selling and because of market determined as opposed to fixed cost of storage example if the cost of oil is dollar 40 a barrel and is 6 month for offered contract trades at dollar 30 a bank looking to arbitrage this relationship might want to short sell physical crude oil and take a long position in the future contract this would be impossible due to the inability to short oil Alternatively, if the forward contract traded at dollar forty five, a bank might try to buy oil at dollar forty a barrel, pay the interest on the money used to buy the oil, store it for six months, and sell it at a previously contracted rate of dollar forty five. However, the cost of storage, transport, and exchange are so high they they would render that trade unprofitable in fact the forward price could trade anywhere between dollar 30 and dollar 45 without any arbitrage pressure from traders or banks to reach any given price level example using gold since gold trades in certificate form the only cost of holding gold is the cost of money that is a risk free rate of interest the cost of shorting gold is a lease rate Hence, we have two equations for the gold forward price. Gold forward price is equal to less than gold spot into 1 plus risk free rate power T. Gold forward more than equal to gold spot into 1 plus risk free rate minus lease rate power T. Gold may trade anywhere in this range. Though it usually trades at a bottom of the range, if gold forward price is traded anywhere outside that range arbitrage would be profitable oil forward prices are driven by two factors the expected future oil price and the value of locking in fixed oil prices effectively oil forwards have no upper or lower arbitrage bond bounds and the lower bound does not exist because there is no active market for borrowing oil the upper bound does not exist because if forward oil prices rises the cost of storage will rise in response the reason for this is that the oil storage is in fixed supply and the demand for storage increases as forward prices rises therefore oil forward price is equal to expected future oil price plus minus oil market risk premium the expected future oil price is driven by the same factor that affect current oil prices the oil market risk premium is driven by the demand and supply of market participants wanting to hedge or speculate in the market note that the commodity forward pricing formula differs significantly from the forward pricing formula for other markets backwardation and contango when forward prices are lower for longer maturity the commodity market is said to be backwardation a term originated by John Maynard Keynes. The following chart shows 13 oil forward curves corresponding to the beginning of each of the months in 2007. In that year, oil traded in both contango and backwardation. 
backward dated markets can be interpreted in at least three ways market participants expect commodity prices to fall market is signaling to proceed producers that spot commodity availability should increase the commodity forward risk premium is negative in contrast commodity market are said to be in contango when forward prices exceed current spot prices contango derives from the latin word contangere to hold some markets like gold are always in contango and the slope of the curve is equal to the carrying cost that is holding cost backwardation and contango represent risk for commodity trading departments of bank market prices can move from backwardation to contango driven by changes in the short term commodity prices long term commodity prices or both customer uses of commodity forward bank customers trade with banks for strategic and transactional purposes strategically bank customers that produce commodities often experience significant cash flow risk due to fluctuation in commodities prices for example the income of corn farmer depends entirely on the amount of corn they produce and the price they can sell it on the market corn prices can be very volatile also corn per and also corn production depends on rainfall temperature and sunshine because of these factors the farmer's income may be very volatile and due to the questions about his availability to repay he may have trouble borrowing to finance his production example the farmer hedges by going short on corn future contracts protecting the harvest price level provided the hedged amount is produced however the farmer is then exposed to margin fluctuation from future contract by entering a customized forward contract with a bank to link the volume of the hedge to the volume of production the farmer may be able to pass some of the production risk to the bank and may be able to negotiate a credit line that would reduce the risk of his margin call bank customers may trade commodity forward with bank in order to express trading views reverse undesired short term exposure created from fixed price commodity sale or to reach short term budgetary targets commodity option bank trade a full battery of commodity option types roughly approximating the types of option traded in other markets the risk of the option include all other risk of the underlying plus additional risk as related to volatility and market illiquidity for example call option on crude oil futures and put option on soybean futures behaved as expected given knowledge on the fx option markets there are some features that are unique to some commodity options to examples for asian option and flexible volume option now what is asian option most consumers of natural gas do not have the ability to store it as a result they contract with suppliers to receive a flow of natural gas equal to the certain number of mm btu per day the pricing of natural gas is usually based on a daily spot index such as henry hub if the consumer wants to protect against price increases the concern is not the price on one day expiration or it is with the fx option the concern is the average price course over the course of the month for this reason the underlying contract for the asian option is the average of the daily prices throughout the month rather than a spot price in other markets these averaging options are considered exotic but in commodity markets they are considered as plain vanilla okay in other markets these averaging options are considered exotic but in a commodity market these are plain vanilla flexible volume option many consumers of commodities do not know how much of the commodity they will need for example an office building will require more electricity when an air conditioner have to run longer than expected a function of the a function of the weather they while it seems logical to allow the customer this sort of option for risk management purposes bank must consider the risk associated with a variable customer volume the customer cannot simply buy electricity forward since forward contracts normally specify a fixed volume therefore it is in the interest of the customer to enter a contract with a bank that takes volume metric flexibility into account flex options are considered exotic in other markets but standard in commodities they are valued based on assumptions about consumer behavior and how behavior is affected by outside variables in this case temperatures due to high cost of hedging and the relative 
illiquidity of the underlying commodity market most banks and consumers customers do not trade exotic commodity options like those seen in the other markets commodity derivative risk the in addition to the specific risk particular to each commodity the main commodity derivative risk are basis product location quality term seasonality and correlation basis because of the different demand supply balance in each region and the cost of transporting the oil between regions a tanker of the west texas inter intermediate crude oil in the us will have a different value to a us buyer than a tanker of arab light crude oil in malaysia different oil sulfur content and gravity levels will also make the oil unsuitable for some refineries when bank has an arab light otc forward position with wt1 WTI crude oil forwards they have the benefit of using the most liquid OTC market to hedge but at the cost of significant basis risk between WTI and the Arab light. Similarly, the basis reflects the location or geographic differentials. For instance, the price of natural gas delivered in different ports in the Houston ship channel is different. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> These differences are determined by the cost of transportation between two points as well as localized supply and demand factor. Calendar spreads. Calendar spreads represent a special case of basis risk. For example, a trader might take a position in March natural gas futures and offset it with a position in April gas futures on the theory that relative prices will come into alignment and then that of the trader is protected against absolute price movements. Some calendar spreads move in reliable patterns but there but others can be quite volatile perhaps the most famous example of a calendar spread gone wrong is illustrated by the history of amarnath advisors typically natural gas prices decline during so we can have a different video on amarnath advisors an article i will search for this art uh, for article regarding amarnath advisor on google and we'll make a separate video for this Typically, natural gas prices decline during the spring months starting in March and April. When <coughs> when natural gas inventories begin to rise, Amarnath made a bet on the direction of the spread between two natural gas future prices, the 2007 March and April contracts respectively. Amarnath expected that the spread between these two contracts would rise and build up a substantial position in those contracts. However, the spread narrowed considerably in September 2006. As a result, in September 2006, as a result of unexpected move, the spread Amarnath lost 65% of its dollar to 9.2 billion asset base and closed its fund. A reason why. <coughs> 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 The reason why calendar spreads are more so important source of risk for a bank is a small number of traded contracts in some markets, while futures contracts for equity indexes and in interest rates and currencies may have a regular monthly expiration calendar. There are multiple commodities where there is only one there is only quarterly expiration that makes hedging and exposure accruing during a month different from the expiration of the futures contract difficulty to hedge because there is an inherent mismatch between the maturities of the contract and the exposure. Term. In ma other markets, forward prices move approximately in a proportion to spot prices. This does not hold for commodities. Except for precious metal, for most commodities, the shortest term forward contracts are the most volatile and the longest term contracts are least volatile. This is because supply and demand factors for nearby forward positions are changing daily. While information about long dated expectation does not change as frequently, failure to understand the phenomenon costs metal gas less shaft mg over u dollar 1 billion in 1993 using front month oil futures the contract that are nearly to expiry to hedge long dated forward position in gasoline and heating oil proved to be disastrous particularly because the hedge ratio was taken to be one barrel for one barrel the prices of long dated contracts tend to move much less than the prices of short dated contracts even if they are somewhat correlated the actual short-term hedge should have been much smaller than it was. MG problems were ex exacerbated, exacerbated, exacerbated by extremely high liquidity risk 
and by the illiquidity of the near month oil futures market related to mg hedging demand mg become the largest trader in the front month oil market and therefore found it extremely difficult to revise <coughs> and reverse its trade seasonality some commodities are prone to season price fluctuation agriculture commodity planted in cold climates are harvested once or twice a year leading to seasonal peaks and droughts prices of fuel used for heating heating oil or natural gas have seasonal variation in climates that can be in hot or cold power prices exhibit high variation where the demand for the air conditioning and the daily usage is high, highly variable furthermore as a result of these market characteristics price volatility can be greater during some seasons and less during other seasons the following chart illustrates shows how the us natural gas market can be both in backwardation and have a strong seasonal component <clears throat> correlation while there may be no day to day correlation between copper and aluminum during times of extreme price moment we can expect to see price moving in the same direction due to long term sustainability of metal for another the same analogy can an analogy can be applied to an ethanol and corn the former made from the latter and can correlate with grains or with the fuels depending on the price environment finally we saw in 2008 all the commodity prices tend to be correlated together as global demand for the commodity increased taken together changing correlation represents significant risk for banks with commodity portfolio so that's it guys this was regarding commodity and commodity associated risk now in next video we are going to cover credit we are going to cover credit instruments <clears throat> then credit derivative then risk map and that's it in this video we have covered uh, some interesting topic like asian option flexible volume option then we also covered amarnath advisors and backwardation and condenjo so this what is this backwardation market can be understand in three ways market pa participant expect commodity prices to fall the commodity forward risk premium is negative and whereas if i google that this backwardation and content content jo i will find easier definition <coughs> backwardation and content jo back back wordation versus contenjo contenjo and back wordation are term used to define the structure used to define the structure of the forward curve when the market is in contenjo the forward price of the future contract is higher than the spot price conversely when the market is in back wordation the forward price of the future is lower than the spot price so <clears throat> is backwardation bullish or bearish bullish backwardation theoretically a bullish sign of for oil because it means traders no longer have an incentive to store the oil and sell it at a later date so in case of backwardation what happen is the forward price of the future contract is lower than the spot price so for the future prices are lower is backwardation contenjo or bullish bullish contenjo is a bullish indicator why it is bullish indicator meaning that when the commodities are in contenjo investors believe that the prices of the commodity will rise so contenjo and backwardation are term used to define the structure of the forward curve when the market is contenjo investor believe that the forward price of the future is higher than the spot price investor believe that the price of the commodity will rise so that's why they are saying forward price will be higher than the spot price so but we have a beautiful article also from uh, cfi so i would like to make a cover this also here contenjo and backwardation are term used to describe the observed difference between the spot or we can say cash and future price for a commodity the curve has two dimension and plots time across the horizontal axis and delivery price of the commodity across the vertical axis the guide will break down the key difference between contenjo and backwardation in contenjo spot prices are lower than current future prices and future in backwardation spot prices are and when spot prices are higher than current future prices and in backwardation spot prices are lesser than current future prices what is contenjo contenjo describes an upward sloping contenjo describes an upward sloping curve where the prices for the future delivery are higher 
so in contents of prices of future delivery are higher than the spot prices where in the backward edition it is vice versa contango is a common in the gold industry where the commodity is non perishable and there is a storage cost also and we expect that the future prices will be higher than the spot contango exists for multiple reason including inflation carrying cost storage insurance and expectation that the real prices will be higher in the future backward edition describes a downward sloping curve where the curves of uh, for the price for the future delivery are lower than the spot price backward edition exists for various reasons including short term events that can cause the spot price to rise above future prices for example if a major drought causes wheat crops to suffer then the spot prices may may spike up above the future price when growing conditions are expected to the normal again backward edition exists for various reason including short term events that can cause the spot prices to rise above future prices so spot are higher than the future for example if a major drought causes wheat crops to suffer then the spot prices are going to spike up above the future prices when growing condition expected to be normal again who uses the future curve the future curve can be used as price in price inputs when building a financial model for commodity company the curve can be used as a scenario or price deck in the model and which can is common in mining industry for example so that's it guys thanks for watching this video so far we have covered today Community and associated risk. In next video, we are going to talk about credit and credit associated instruments and risk. Thanks for this watching this video. And in credit also, in case of credit, we have a full module um, dedicated to credit risk management. So even if here we are going to cover less, but we are going to cover credit related risk associated um, instruments and market. Uh, in the different module so stay tuned and if you have any session do let me know in the comment bye bye take care